So with that, chat, with no more questions, let's go on to our first EP of the night. Rafa, who are we listening to? We're going to listen to Unfa's EP. Unfa. Unfa. They're a super cool community. Everything is open source. Everything. I've seen them kind of hard code their own servers and their own plugins. And they don't like using, you know, proprietary stuff. So a lot of their SPS was building out systems that they didn't have. Awesome. Um, Can't wait. So super cool. Let's see what they have to offer. Benji, if you could play that EP, let's get started.
secrets are mad and fucking I ain't asking you're not grasping this cold message too many secrets I have to say some things I can't relay what I think is true may not mean much to you when it's just me and you words come loose like a non-time news things fall through loose transgressions cold blessings true reverence true testing to my essence
Oh my goodness, that was crazy. So much different stuff in one EP. Wow. Yeah, round of applause. Thank you. My goodness. Thanks so, so much, guys. Yeah, we're joined here by two wonderful gentlemen from UNFA. Welcome, guys. Welcome. If you could introduce yourselves, please. I'm Anfa. Uh, the server is named after me. Uh, and yeah, I, I'm the guy. And uh, with me is John, the bard, who's been a driving force between, behind the whole collaboration on my, on my server. And he's been pretty much the lead of the project. Uh, maybe even a little bit more than me. <laughs> Awesome. And he also re uh, recruited like uh, five guitarists for, <laughs> for the project. So, <laughs> and and the vocalists and ra and rapists and whatever. <laughs> rapists. Yeah. Sorry. That was great. That's awesome. awesome. Yeah, we were having a bit of trouble finding. Uh, you guys can hear me, right? Just yes. Making sure. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, we were having a bit of trouble finding um, contributors at the beginning. We had a lot of people. The first week and then we had not much going on for a bit after that so then i kind of brought on a bunch of my buddies to uh do a lot of cool guitar stuff i guess uh and then yeah the last week we suddenly had everybody on not to jump the gun on talking about it a bunch but yeah it's kind of funny awesome thanks for having us by the way yeah absolutely. yeah huge yeah. thanks to story for, for inviting for this, our community yeah, uh, I'm very glad y'all pulled through. Just an amazing project. Chaz, do you, uh, do you have any thoughts on the EP? I think the mic is muted. There we go. Uh, yeah, we can't hear you, Chaz. Sorry. Ah, oh, that's too bad. Oh, no. Oh, no, no, no. Yeah, got some. yeah, we'll just talk about it for a second, and then when he has sound we'll let him give his thoughts um yeah yeah so mm. i don't what know um to know <laughs> yeah i guess um you want to talk about uh what your community is kind of about sure so um as uh we've already been introduced we are um, focused on open source software which also by extension means most of us work on linux so we are kind of the um, the proof that it's really possible to do music on Linux and with open source software. And some people think open source, is that the same thing as freeware? And the answer is no, because Synth1 is freeware. But that means all you have is the DLL you can use. 
if it was open source, you'd also have the source code and you could upgrade it and make it better. Uh, so that's what we are about and that's what we use and we try to promote. So yeah, I've been making video tutorials about making audio production on Linux with open source software for quite a few years and the, the community on Discord formed around that. Awesome. How many people are in your server? Oh man, got to check. I think a couple hundred. Uh, online, 150. Offline, I don't know. I think it's about 400. Uh, as a... No, 600. Okay, so it's about like 700, 750 people, something like that. Awesome. Size. Quite a few. Yeah. So... I know your community is kind of split up. You're unique in that you have a Discord and a, a Rocket Chat, right? Yeah. Um, uh, how do you guys kind of handle collaboration with sort of a divided community like that? Mm. Uh, Rocket Chat is, for those who don't know, because I assume most people have never heard about it, it's like an open source version of Slack. Uh, so when I was looking for an open source of something, something open source to be an alternative to Discord, because Discord is proprietary and closed source and also has a, a problematic terms of service uh, <laughs> document that, so I don't want to force anybody to use it. And we decided to set up Rocket Chat as an alternative so everybody can talk to each other from it's like a, a once community that just has two outlets, two portals. Yeah, because the chats are bridged, so you're able to uh, see all the Discord messages on Rocket Chat and vice versa. So it's not uh, split in that regard. We actually they're testing a matrix server too, but that's beside the point. Um, but <laughs> so yeah, it's uh, I don't not have my exactly shades. split. Yeah, it's not exactly split. <laughs> split in that. Where's my overcoat? <laughs> um but it does yeah it is kind of interesting um i think uh i think the coolest thing that we did with uh being the open servers that's we uh, although i think a couple servers are i didn't hear everyone yesterday but doing something similar but we are passing just project files back and forth instead of um stems or anything like that and uh, we're doing our best. We were doing our best not to bounce anything that didn't need to be bounced. So all of the uh, synthesized drums, uh, synthesized tones in general, uh, amp simulators, whatever can be changed by anybody, uh, which was pretty neat. Um, we, yeah, we we have since we're only using uh, open source software, it doesn't cost anything for us to just add more plugins or be like, hey, I like this. Can we all use it? If we, I mean, it could be like uh, bias effects is my favorite plugin. So we all need to spend two hundred dollars in order to pass, you know, projects back and forth. So we didn't have any of those kind of issues. So we tried our best to uh, make use of that, and yeah, I think it went really well. Awesome. Yeah, we we wanted to use the strengths of of what we are doing with the open source software, and try to utilize the unique stuff that we can do, which is, for example, legally distribute the software uh, and also uh, we we did something, uh, we didn't want to work on stems, as John already said, and so we set up a, I've, a difficult thing for me personally was that right when the theme was dropped, I just started a new job and I was having issues like adjusting my my uh, like <laughs> work schedule and everything and it was quite exhausting. So it was really hard for me to contribute. So what I've done is I tried to set up a, a proposed way of working, figure out the work workflow for for the collaboration. So I've set up uh -huh. a shared network folder where we can add anybody, and then uh, and for, hold on. Yes. Benji, there's some audio playing on stream, and nobody heard anything that Unfa just said. I'm so sorry. 
Is it better? Are we done? Oh. It's gone. Awesome. Okay. <laughs> Should I repeat? Yes, please. Okay, what's the last thing if you think went live? Uh, I think you started a new job. <laughs> ah, okay. So, <laughs> yeah, the the challenge the, the challenge collab was difficult to, for me because right when the the theme was announced, I, I was just started a new job and I was having issues kind of adjusting my uh, rhythm, and I also didn't have much time and energy left for the collaboration. This is where John pretty much like took took over the leadership, and without him, this collaboration would have never really fruited in anything. So thank you, John. Yeah, it was. I, I handled a ton of the, I guess, administrative tasks between. We had a. It's called Sync Thing. Was how we were sharing files. It basically is. A, it's it's sort of like Dropbox, I guess, but open source naturally. Um. So any files we put in a folder would appear on everyone's computer, which is how we passed uh, the binaries for the programs along with the projects themselves. So I have a machine that's just dedicated to that, that we had up and running. Things things of that nature was uh, a lot of, I wanted to do more sound design, but I wound up kind of <laughs> watching over what was happening much more often. But oh well, fun times. Gotcha. Um... So secrets, uh, I know you guys took it kind of literally and used the word secrets in some of your lyrics. Um, how did the theme kind of inspire the EP and what other secrets that did you guys hide that, you know, chat didn't get? I think there's quite a lot to discover in the CP hidden. So yeah, take out your tools and ears and have fun. We can, of course, provide a Bandcamp link for anyone who wants to uh, re-listen or download Flax or whatever to have lots of fun. Awesome. Although I did see some people in chat uh, mentioning Morse code. So your next step is figuring out what we said. <laughs> in case that was true, of course. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. I don't it's know. A secret. There, there's plenty more. So we they can get one. Someone said, are you going to share the background binary code? <laughs> Can you read binary? I think it's, it's going to be possible to extract it if you just um, stitch together the frames and like. <laughs> yeah, you got an afternoon <laughs> and a uh, photo editor. Just, just take a bunch you of screenshots. And yeah. Arrange them. Just hand write down the binary. <laughs> just write it down by hand. Yeah. Or, yeah. or you can train AI to do it for you. There you go. It may that's take the, more that's time. That's the info way. What, what else is going to deal with your, your <laughs> GPU power laying around? Exactly. <laughs> yeah, chat. Yeah. Uh, by the time we finish this EP, someone have that AI ready, please. please. Someone figure out that binary. Awesome. Um, Story, you asked about the theme and how it inspired us. Yeah, yeah. I guess it was that a lot of people started tracks and everybody had their own idea on how the theme is going to be portrayed. There wasn't like a master plan for the EP. It definitely wasn't a concept album. Um, it was a collection of different ideas and tracks that were developed. Also, funny enough, we during the last week that was added, um, the fifth week of work, we went from four tracks to seven because we kind of realized, oh, shoot, we are <laughs> under 10 minutes. <laughs> hey, what else do we have? <laughs> oh, now we have time to finish it up. OK. Oh, we have seven <laughs> tracks now? OK. All right. <laughs> let's let's do it. And then, awesome. oh, maybe we could make a visualizer too. Oh, all right. I'll do it. I like that kind of stuff. Yeah. Un unfortunately, our mixing phase suffered a little bit as a result. But um, I think the variety is really cool. I think it was uh, the right way to go instead of just having barely 10 minutes. Otherwise, uh, that what's what's it called? Uh, the realm. That's the name of the track. Uh, was going to have an additional two minutes of guitar solos, and there's <laughs> there's a there's a meme release that's going to happen. That's going to have all the guitar solos. If you really like that track, you got awesome. a solid forty ish forty five minutes. It's going to be great. Yeah. Just <laughs> guitar solos. Wow. Guitar solos. Uh, um, Chaz, I think you're back. Can you try speaking? Oh yeah. Ah, uh, it's 
It's not working. I don't hear. Does anyone know sign language? Uh, oh, yeah. Can you do uh, sign it? That's weird. Oh. No. Yeah. Doesn't appear to All right. I... It, it wouldn't be an SVS stream if there weren't any technical issues. That's, That's the... true. <laughs> oh, he's gone. Maybe gone. if he reconnects, then it's going to work. Yeah. Probably. Have um, you tried turning it off and back on? Sorry. It's pretty I much the solution. <laughs> uh, while we're uh, while we're waiting on Chaz, um, you guys have a lot of genres. Um, how? I guess like, how do you sort of describe your guys' sound, and then how did you sort of meld so many sort of ideas together? In twenty P. I don't know I don't how know. I would describe our sound. because uh, there's a lot of sound in there. Um I guess all over the place. Some some word like that. Uh pull out your thesaurus for a better one. But <laughs> yeah, it's we have two metal tracks, um two eighties style tracks, um a I guess fifties spy track uh drum and bass and orchestral yeah, ambient or yeah orchestral yeah. synthetic ambient intro yeah so there's a uh, quite a variety i'm not sure there's too much even connecting them other than the theme of course uh i would say it's but, eclectic yeah although uh surprisingly a lot of the same people worked on a lot of the variety of tracks so uh, I think our non-destructive yeah. workflow has contributed a lot to how the music itself emerged because we weren't limited by things like, oh, I got these stems, now what I do with them? Everybody was able mm -hmm. to take uh, anybody else's MIDI data on the timeline and just rearrange it or take the somebody's synth patch and change it or add automation to the synth patch or replace the synth altogether, which is what I've done a bunch of times. Yeah. Um, or just resynthesize the drums or replace them or remix them and like or re rearrange them like there wasn't this limitation of re exchanging audio files and there wasn't any ne necessity for people to say hey would you can you fix this for me or do that and then wait until they do it and turn around with new stems for you to put to pull into your project. No, you can just do it on the spot yourself because you have all the power, all the tools. Everyone opens the same projects uh, using the same plugins. Uh, as actually setting this up was like, this is the idea I had that oh, this would be so cool if you could do this because actually, why shouldn't we do it like that? It would be silly if we tried the standard way because we can do this. So uh, I decided we, let's do it. Let's set up file synchronization standardize a set of plugins and the DAW we're going to use, which is our door. It's an open source DW, uh, kind of similar to Cubase or Pro Tools or Log Logic, whatever. You, well, it's standard stuff. It does all the awesome. things you need to do. Yeah. And um, um, yep. Unfortunately, that's all the time we have for our interview. Thank you, Unfa. Thank you, John, for joining us. Yeah, thank you so if much you for want, having us. Can, you can stick around for the next DP, talk to the next people. A great work. Um, guys. Thanks for having us. Chaz, I... It was really great to collaborate and be able to be a part of this project. Thank you so much. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Chaz, I think we could hear you now. <laughs> so awesome. Do you have any closing thoughts? Hey, around the world in 15 minutes. I loved it. I was trying to say that for so long. But yeah, great work, you guys. <laughs> awesome. Thank you so much. Thank you. All right. Good job. All right, uh, so we're going to move on now to the next EP of this awesome afternoon, night, morning, wherever you are, uh, by the Untitled Virtual Ensemble. Very excited to see what they bring. Uh, they're an online orchestra, right? Yes, yes. I dig, I dig the yeah, name. <laughs> yeah. Very cool. All right, Benji, 